building a sliding door in LEGO is much easier than you think, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Real quick, if you find this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you never miss when I upload a new tutorial video. So before I show you how to build this, I will show you a look at the completed designs, that way you know what uh, we are aiming for during this tutorial. So you can see it, the door does not sit exactly flush with the wall, uh, but uh, it does slide very easily. And then there is a little handle here so that you can pull it right back out and close the door. So this is a very simple build. Um, there's not too much going on with it. And I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this and give you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to build this very simple sliding door. Alright, so I've gone ahead and disassembled most of the door design. I have left the door and a little part of the wall together since that is more of a special part of the build. Uh, so the pieces themselves, you can really swap out for anything that you want. You can use different sized pieces. Uh, like, for example, I have a lot of one by ones here, mainly because that's all I had available to do this little design at the moment. But if you want to use one by twos, it really doesn't matter. You can use whatever size pieces that you want. Like, I'm using a lot of these pieces simply because I have them, but you can use just a bunch of one by fours and build up like that. The only pieces that you will really absolutely need are a few um, one stud wide tiles and this piece right here. Uh, so that way you can slide the door in. You will need uh, two of these if you're doing a door this size. And you will also need these little pieces on top of the door build, which is what goes into these black pieces that I just showed you. And this is actually how the door slides. So these two pieces and the tiles are really what you actually need. And the rest of the pieces you can kind of um, choose based off of what is in your parts collection. So I think that is it for the pieces. Let's go ahead and get building. So the first thing that you're going to do is create a 4x6 area to build on. It does not matter what kind of base plate you are using to create this design. As long as you have a 4x16 area to actually build the door, you will be able to do this. So what I've done here is taken four 4x4 four four, uh -huh, light bluish gray plates, and I have laid them out on this kind of oddly shaped base plate. But as long as you have a 4x16 area, you will be able to build this door design. So the first thing you're going to do once you have your uh, floor down is you're going to take a 9 by 6 wall. So I've gone ahead and pre-assembled this uh, just to save a little bit of time. But basically you're just going to build something that is 9 bricks wide by 6 bricks tall. And then what you're going to do is just place it down right here. And this is what I was saying earlier where it doesn't really matter what pieces that you use. Like I use these really tall bricks and then a stack of 1 by 1s uh, on the ends. But if you just want to use one by sixes, uh, as long as it is a one stud wide brick, it really does not matter what bricks that you use. And what you're going to do is leave a four stud gap, that is where your minifigure is going to walk through. And you're going to take a two by three and place it down. So uh, again, it doesn't really matter what size brick, I just like using the biggest one possible uh, for the base. And what you can do is create this little assembly, which I'm going to show you how to build now. So basically what you're going to do is take a 2x2 two two brick and then place a 1x1 one one plate and then a 1x1 one one brick with a 1x1 one one plate on top so then you kind of have this uh, design here. Then what you can do is take a 2x2 two two plate and then put another layer of plates on top. You can use 1x1s one one or 1x2s. One I recommend 1x1s one one on top since it is easier to take apart. And you're going to place that on top of the uh, brick with the plate on top so that way it's overhanging over the other 1x1 one one plate and just make sure everything's lined up fairly nicely. And then you're going to take a stack of 1x1s, or you can use 1x2s, just as long as you have this design at the end. Uh, so that way you look like this. So you have your brick, then a plate, a brick with a plate, and then your uh, two layers of plates, and then your bricks just to fill in the empty gap. And what you're going to do is place this right here on the edge, so that way the solid side is facing this way, another solid side is on here, and then the gap is facing uh, where the door will go, so it's facing the uh, wall that you just built. And then what you're going to do now is just fill in this space, so that way it um, reaches the height of the other wall. So again, it really doesn't matter how you do this. If you have a bunch of 2x3s, that's great. You can just do that. But if you're like me and don't, uh, you can just, as long as you fill in a 2x3 area with bricks, you can do whatever you want. Um, the bigger the bricks that you use, the less gaps that you will get, and the better that it will look. 
So right now we have a layered wall and this is really it for the outside. So let's go ahead and move on to uh, actually building the door. To build the door itself, what you're going to do is start with a 1x6 brick. This does work the best starting with a 1x6. And then you're just going to build another layer on top of it. You can use another 1x6. Uh, you can use a 1x4 and a 1x2 or just what I'm doing here. And then what you're going to do is take another 1x4. And I'm going to flip it this way. I'm just using the 1x4 to lock down those two smaller pieces. And then you're going to take a 1x1, put it right there. And then you're going to take a headlight brick with a stud on the side. And you're going to place that right there so the stud is facing the side of the uh, little build. And then you're going to build up three more layers and put that on top. And then you're going to go ahead and take these little pieces right here with the groove on them. And you're going to place those right on top like this. And then you're going to take a 1x6 plate. It doesn't really matter what colors that you are using. If you have dark bluish gray, I think that would look pretty good. But um, you just want to match the tile to the uh, little groove pieces uh, just so you look consistent. And that is the door itself. Nothing too complex. And let's go ahead and get this thing attached. All right, your first step to install the door is lay down a row of tiles. And you're basically just going to have it so it touches the um, stud where the gap is in the wall. And then you're just going to run it down along the um, edge of this wall here. So there's a three stud gap at the end. And now what you're going to do is just take a stack of bricks. I use two by two since I think it is easier. And you're going to place that right there. And um, you just want to have it one lower than the rest of the wall. And the reason for that is because you need to put something a bit different on the top le level. Uh, so you're just going to take a one by one and a one by two. And you make a little L assembly, just like that. Now what you're going to do is fill in the rest of the wall. So it doesn't matter what bricks you use again, but I'm just using these taller bricks since I think it is easier. So basically you're going to start at the edge of the outside wall, uh, and then along the row of tiles, you're just going to place these bricks down. And you should be left with a one stud wide gap, and which is also two studs deep. And what you're going to do is just place this in just like that. And now what you're going to do is take a one by one brick and place it right there. And now you just have to get this to the same height as the rest of the wall. So I'm just going to use some one by fours and just place it down just like this. And now what you're going to do is take these two pieces right here that I showed you at the beginning. You're going to place those right on top of those one by fours. And now you're just going to pop this off like this. It makes a door uh, installation easier, popping that off. Now you're just going to slide this door straight through, just like that. And you can slide it all the way back. And you're just going to put this back, just like this. And basically what this gap does is allows the little stud handle a place to rest. Uh, not rest, but a place to go. And um, this is the, your door design. So um, the door is now fully installed, and then you can slide it back. And uh, if you're wondering if the handle is necessary, it is, because it's the only way that you can pull this door out uh, when it is in its open position. So that is really it for the door. I'm now going to show you guys just how to finish off the top and make it look nice. All right, so the last step to finish off this design is just to put another layer of bricks around so everything is the same height as these black bricks here. And you'll notice I did pop off some bricks here. Uh, the only reason for that is so I could fit this 1x2x2 two two brick that I have. So just um, adapt the design that I show in the video um, really to whatever pieces that you have. Uh, so if you have a lot of these 1x2x2s, two two you can use those to build up. Really, it doesn't matter what pieces that you use um, to get to the final product as long as you do get the overall shapes that I showed throughout the tutorial. So I'm just going ahead and finishing up here. And once you get everything flush and level, uh, really the only thing left to do is build a little roof design. I'm not really going to show you how to do that. Uh, all you have to do is basically cover this up. It can be accomplished very easily just with a bunch of plates or tiles. So I'm not going to show you how to build that roof specifically just since it really can be whatever you want and the door is complete at this point. So you just use the handle, pull the door out, and now you have a nice closed door. There you go. That is the sliding door design. And like I said, the only step from here is to build your own little roof. That is it for my tutorial on how to build a sliding Lego door. If you enjoyed and found the video helpful, please click that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials from me, consider subscribing and turning on notifications by clicking on the round end screen element in the top left. 
And if you want to see more tutorials that I've already published, click on the playlist popping up in the top right corner. And if you want to see uh, just some of my other videos, I have suggested two of them. Those are the two videos popping up on the bottom. And that'll be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the other videos that I have suggested for you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.